Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So a few days ago, I was discussed on Wing Chun with a friends, a Wing Chuner friends from Asia. So as usual, this friend start with like the structure, straight line, qi sao, and the qi kek, okay, sticking legs. And so I share with him my YouTube I have made in a previous two weeks. And after that, he come back and asking me, Hey Hendrik, how come what you present have no chi cake, you know, sticking leg there. Well, at that point, I decided to make this video to share with the entire world once for all. Because Wing Chun today, for past 130 years, have a big education problem. Meaning, for past 130 years, Wing Chun lost the big picture of what is Wing Chun. So that's why today you can see people mixing Tai Chi and call it internal Wing Chun. Or eternal spring is a praise spring. Wing Chun is Wang Chun and uh, all sort of stuff. And then, like uh, these friends about the sticky leg, those kind of stuff. Why is this happen? This happen is because one don't see the big picture of what is going on with the sticking body short strike Wing Chun. You go to the Yip Man movie, the Yip Man in that movie say, oh, Wing Chun is a type of my son to in ta, tip son to in ta, sticking body short strike. But none of it show you what is going on. Everybody talk about this Kun Chong Sam Fat, fist issue from heart, Sao Chong Yong Chong, uh, guard your center, and uh, you want to attack the opponent's center. But everybody have their interpretations. Same thing, everybody talk about plum flower footwork. And everybody have their way of plum flower footwork. So today I want to end this mess or disaster of Wing Chun from Silicon Valley, California, America. We need to end this thing. If we don't end this thing today to see the big picture, there is no way one can develop any Wing Chun or sticking body short strike. One might use the name of Wing Chun to do whatever it is, but it is not what it is. Okay? So, one need to know what is going on here. You, one need to see the big picture and asking the questions. Whatever I am practicing or what I'm proposing, is that applicable or not? Today, there is no such big picture. There is no such question. So everybody is talking about hand techniques. The Tan Sao, and then uh, the, 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 the Sun Punch, and then you have shifting with the Bong Sao, and then Sun Punch, and then Straight Line Punch, and then some even talk about, oh, this is called Short Bridge, and then uh, you want to do a Long Bridge, Exerting frost, the chong Q, fat leg, whatever. 
all of this is very problematic and it's actually a disaster. It's a misleading. Why it is misleading? It's because you don't see the big picture. It's like uh, you want to build a building, but you don't know how the building is supposed to look like. And you keep working on uh, digging the ditch or whatever. What has it got to do with the building that building? Okay. And uh, even for very simple stuff, people talk about you need to uh, punch from your, soul, uh, your, your elbow power. Well, can you please explain to me in physics your hand, your arm travel this far to doing that punch. Is that more powerful compared with those others in Western boxing and MMA and so forth, moving the body in and striking in? Well, that is exactly what Xi Xiaodong laughed at Wing Chun publicly in his video. Okay. In public meeting, he just said, oh yeah, your hand is fast, but there's demonstrations in Western boxing, the entire body go in and strike and you just KO. So you cannot keep in having those, as what I said just now, you don't have a big picture. It's just like uh, arbitrarily, everybody can have their five cents in. Since past 130 years, it is like that. So, in my uh, previous one week of YouTube, I just saying to everybody out loud that if you cannot handle this, this core part of your body, forget about it. You, you practically cannot move. How, how is that supposed to be any martial at all? Okay, so right now, let's get into the, the big picture of Wing Chun. So here on, you want to base on this. Whenever you talk about Wing Chun, you want to base on this. If you are not based on this, it's guaranteed. It is not Wing Chun. It is some, like a, in America, we have a dish, Chinese dish, uh, named as chop suey. It's just some mix up whatever who know whatever heck it is. Okay, so let's get into the big picture. The big picture is really simple in Wing Chun. We can have a three-dimensional model for Wing Chun. A three-dimensional model for Wing Chun for the base of it. So once for all, you see clearly what is Wing Chun. And this model is based on the term you have already know, fist issue from heart. Kuen Chong San Fat. Sao Zhong Yong Zhong, guard your center, you attack the opponent's center, and plum flower footwork. Just these three things, you can see the entire big picture model, three-dimensional, four-dimensional model, three-dimensional with a time dimension. So you have four-dimensional model there. So you want to keep that in your mind when you practice Wing Chun, or else it is like the Chinese-American, uh, American-Chinese uh, uh, dishes is chop suey. Nobody know what that is. It just, it just, you just, you just mix something. Now, serious thing. So, I want to present this model for you. So, what is this model based on? Is it based on my lineage? Is it based on uh, some grandmaster? Well, the answer is no. It is based on the writing of 1815's anti-Qing Wing Chun. That Xiu Lim Tao writing of 1850 anti-Qing Wing Chun, 
the base is Shaolin Short Strike. That is what you need to know if you want to fight with uh, the uh, Wing Chun at that time, which is an authentic one, sticking body short strike. And on top of that, you have Er Mei's Er Zhuang, which is condition the body, but it is not that fighting characteristic. And you have some uh, white crane from Fujian techniques. Again, there is just a certain techniques. It is not this big picture. So the idea is like, if I'm going to build a, a building, say in San Jose, I'm going to build it in say, in, in, in our uh, modern engineering way. Okay, the engineering style over here. And within the building, I can use say, uh, some design artifact from Europe. And also I can uh, use some artifact from, uh, from China. Well, that's how it is. Wing Chun is like that. However, this building, the entire building is Shaolin Short Strike. The artifact from uh, China is like the Er Mei Shi Er Zhuang. The artifact from Europe is like the, uh, the white crane. Those are important, but the things that you need to know the entire building, what, what it is. Or else you have no clue on what is going on. Keeping all this qi kiao qi sao and then all these techniques, but you have no idea what it is. Now, so because we want to look into this, the base of uh, Wing Chun 1850, the, 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 the authentic fighting arts, we have to base on only one thing. We can only base on one single thing. We can only base on this Shaolin classic book, which is verified by Tang Hao. Okay. We can only base that. Now, so I have already translated the big part, described the big part of the base of it. For example, this is your plum flower footwork, right? And it was described here where you have a uh, two range. This is the plum flower two range. Okay. And then different way of that plum flower footwork, different angle handling. It's all here. I have done the homework for everybody for the basic. And uh, all the sticking body shot strike, all is here. So what I'm going to share with you today is based on that thing, I just show with you, make a model for you here, a, sh a short video for you here, so that you can see it clearly. Now, plum flower footwork is just saying that the opponent is like a flower if you have a top view looking down. Okay, so the opponent have uh, say this direction, say this is the east direction, there's the west direction, this is the south direction, or this is the uh, north direction. So you have four directions, one, two, three, four. And this is the opponent. If you view from top down, you can see this is what is the plum flower. This is what is the plum flower. Plum flower footwork is how you going to attack from the east, from the west, from which directions. That is plum flower footwork. Now, if you 
fifth issue from heart is I have to guard my center here. And when I'm attacking, I'm going to attacking his center axis. That is called fist issue from heart and uh, guarding the heart, attack the heart. Now, to make it even very simple for you to see, you just thinking this plum flower in today's term as the earth, the earth. The opponent is the earth. I am the moon. So, as we all know, the moon is cycling, orbiting the earth in circle, right? The moon is cycling the earth, right? So the moon is cycling the earth while the earth only see one side of the moon. That's what exactly it is. So when you face your opponent, your opponent is like the earth. You are like the moon. You face him only with this side of your body. You don't give your back. So you cycle, you cycle him. Okay, from here, 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 you cycle him. Okay, and you decide which angle you're going to go in. How, which angle you're going to go in, that is plum flower footwork. So you think about the entire Wing Chun is like the, the, the strategy, the uniqueness is like your opponent is like the earth. You are like the moon. You always face your opponent with only one side of your body. And your plum flower footwork is the angle or the directions you get into the opponent. Okay? And whenever you're cycling the, the opponent, you're always following face issue from heart, guard your heart, attack his center. Got it? So thinking it as a, like a moon. Now, so, as I just shared with you, the moon, uh, the, the earth, have two levels, two range. One is this range. This is the long face range. And there's one range here, is the short strike range. There are two range there. Wing Chun's uniqueness is over here in this range, in the short strike range. And that is a uniqueness here on how to get from this long fish range to the short strike range. Okay? So there's nothing in between. Either you are in a long fish range, like the Western Boxing range, or you are in this range where you get into it. Okay? There are four, the minimum four basic examples of how to play this, this model, the moon and the earth, and how from the moon you strike into the earth. There are four basic ways. The first way is from me and him face squarely. 
this hand is with this hand this hand is with this hand okay and you need from to go from this range one or long fist distance where you can get punch too okay get kick and everything you need to get from this long long fist distance get in here okay so that's the first way meaning that we fought square now when you fought square when you fought square what you need must achieve when you get in there which you want to achieve is you want to get in here where your body actually in the angle that this arm disabling this arm this arm actually make his the other arm defensive in the same time my body press in and my leg is attacking okay you need to be there when you landed and you can have all kinds of talking and attacking here continuous attacking with different directions okay that's that's plum flower footwork so that is the first example if you are fast enough you are strong enough you fight him square now there's a second example if I am not as fast as him, I am not as strong as him, then I am going to fight him with these techniques on his side and his back. Get in his side and his back. Okay? And over here, the same thing. Your leg is attacking him, your body press in, you continue strike. You can go back and take him down. Remember, I'm like the moon rotating the earth. So in the side way, you get in, you attack him. You can go get to his back, real back, take him down. Okay, by pulling his, uh, say, his uh, shoulder. So that is the side way to get in. So this is the square. This is the side way. There are two ways, two main ways, right? Enter from the front door. Like attack me. You know, if you are the Wing Chun guy, you attack me from here. So you want to get this close. Disable this hand. Make this hand defensive. Your body is... Is actually lean toward me already pressure me your leg is attacking me and you can keep in changing like once you get in you can keep in changing and attacking with a different angle okay using the the, the, the idea of concept concede without concessions now so let's do the face uh, to the square another one is using this Hin Sao you go in from here Get, get, and then keeping turning and attack him from the back. Is you get in from there. Okay, again he's uh, disabled this hand. Now he's behind behind there already. Attack me here. Attack me with the leg, and then you can go back to my back and take me down. That's the second way. So this is called the main door. This is called the side door. The third way is from the main to the side. So all of a sudden, if you attack me, I can make use of what it attack me, say using this hook hand as a transition. Borrowing this to get here striking him and throw him that is from inside out okay so he throw he, he throw the attack 
you are out already and then you continue combo in and through now and also there can be outside in from here right away see i'm outside his uh, this is his hand right hook hand outside here i'm in already smash him and now i'm in the his uh, his square like fighting his square here so you see that you have this type of fighting square you have your face here you you're fighting his back you have from the square face to face you get in to the side you have from the outside you get into the square face square okay there's four types of basic and of course it is all the combinations so for example you hewn in your leg is there you strike him you can actually drive too if you want or you can turn the angle and take him down all sort of stuff but it is everything is a combo when, when you when you uh when you get in here all the combo execute once you activate at least you want to prepare for three combo three boom 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 it never is pin out punching and then punching punching no it is it's not like that you have to be like this combo right slam in throw him okay take him down okay and then you can do quite ma down there and finish him you always have the three combo now of course in order to be able to do that you have to be able to shoot in as i already shared long time ago in my video and in the book too you have to shoot in you be able to talk over here and of course you have to have this part train this core this hara part train so that's wing chun and proficient with it meaning that you have to keep doing it doing it and then uh come up with a more different uh different combinations and a different way to slip in get in the more you spar the more you find different ways to come in but it is always the basic is as what i showed to you square facing you facing his back from square facing go to facing his back from facing his back go to the square facing and there's a distance change when you go from one one uh, from the square to the side from side to the square or square in is always two range one is the long fist range one is the short strike range and then if uh, the the opponent is taller you want to know how you play your advantages if your opponent is shorter you want to know you not get into his uh, advantages this is wing chun 1850 this is saolin short strike it's like in in the book now after you know this model i just share with you well ask you, uh, yourself a question what does this do to do a tan sao and then punch tan sao and then punch sitting standing there or walking like this well, what does it do for 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 the model of the wing chun the, the the way of how wing chun fight that's what i just shared with you is that adequate to support those type of fighting the structure shooting power mind power uh whatever power chi power 
What is it got to do with that thing? When you want the mobile to, to fight that way. The short strike way of fighting. Now, Chi Sao, well, what is it got to do? Can you do in a long range, a short range? Chi Kek, are you going to stick with them? People are going to rush in with you with a high in uh, intensity momentum? Mind power, chi power. Train. Uh, this is from Taiji. Uh, Wing Chun is Wang Chun, meaning eternal spring, uh, sp uh, pray spring, which is earth, is the eternal spring. Or oh, even a few days ago, some friend told me, you know, the missing link of uh, Qi Sao or Wing Chun is Yi Li Quan, who is, uh, which is uh, a style uh, based in Malaysia. I mean, get real. Do you know what is the big picture? So like this friend asking Qi Kek, speaking leg training, go check the entire record. Since Wing Chun fought openly, in 1975 with the Kyokushin to Xi Xiaotong in the middle with the uh, with the, uh, the, the the UFC 1996 or something until today. Have you seen anybody using the sticky leg and sticky hand? Have you seen the uh, uniqueness I just mentioned to you, I just shared with you all this, which is recorded in that Southern Classic book? You don't. So this is a disaster. You have this, you don't see the big picture. You don't know which building you're going to build. How is the building you want to build? You're just keeping digging hole. You're just uh, continuing uh, drilling the wall. What are you doing? And then you say, well, this is my lineage of Wing Chun, that lineage of Wing Chun. You practice Xiu Lim Tao where you don't even have this, this area handle. You don't have this area handle, meaning that you don't know how to move in, move out, move side, get into the talking in the, in the short strike. And you keep doing in this distance, you don't know about the long distance, a long fist distance or the short strike distance, which is your uniqueness. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's why when you face somebody who is formally trained, like formally trained in Western boxing, formally trained in Jiu Jitsu, formally trained in Thai boxing, formally trained in Kyok Shin, you cannot fight him. Why? Because you don't have uniqueness at all. You don't even know the big picture of what is going on. So, we need to restore that, that the model of the opponent is the earth. We are the moon. We rotate spinning around with one side of our face facing it always. And we decide we are going to land into the, 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 the earth or the, the opponent in which direction. I'm going to land in this direction. I'm going to land in this direction, turn into this direction. Or from this direction, I'm going here to this direction. You keeping have to have that, 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 that big picture there, keeping training. Or else what, what Wing Chun? You go to those Hong Kong movie, like the Yip Man Grandmaster movie, Tan Pong Fok, are you kidding? When people come in with the, uh, the, the plant flower footwork, four direction, there are all sorts of ways of combination to come in. Can your tampong handle that? 
Not to mention you don't even have the core handling. And you talk to the Qi Gek. Have you go go check into the real public record? Is it does it and ever works at all? Or wasting of life. So this is why I like to be straight with you. Okay. Now why is it getting to this mess? 2017, I was in Fatsan. I confirmed one thing with the researcher there. So we compare not. The situations in the past 100 something years is the teacher only feed the student what the student pay him for. Oh, hand techniques, this much money. Plum flower food work, this much money. And uh, if you, you, you give this much money, you only learn this thing. So everybody have this bit and piece. Not even that if we question the guy who teach, does he know what the heck he's talking about? Mostly they don't. That's why I say I question everybody. Do you know how to handle this part? Like the Ngo Cho, like the Ngo Cho Kun, like the Hong Seng Chui Lei Huat, like the Kyok Shin. Do you know how to handle that? Because you need the, that, that part to handle the momentum. If you want to fight like a Wing Chun 1850 fight together anti-Qing with the Hong Seng Chui Lei Huat, if, if Wing Chun at that time doesn't have that same kind of training, uh, uh, is it become a drag when you go to battlefield? Of course, Wing Chun have to have that standard. So in today's world, one need to question everything. Not just this grandmaster, that grandmaster. You go to China, you interview some old so-called grandmaster. What does it do? No, anyway. Respect people is one thing. When you get into martial arts, that's serious business. It's like you have a military uh, operations. You need to know what, what are you facing, how you're going to get in, how you're going to get out. It's not just which general say what. People can get killed inside there. Okay. So, so it's continuing all this thing, bullshit, selling bullshit. You get this back today, and then you get all these people who are making Hong Kong Wing Chun movie or mainland China Wing Chun movie, or even state performance. Lately, you can see all this bit state performance. Well, it, it is a setup. Oh, he come here, you punch him this way, punch him that way, using this technique, that technique, and say, wow, this is Wing Chun techniques. Who the hell fight you that way in the real world? That's what I said. From 1975 in Kyokshin open until fighting Xi Xiaodong, who the hell is going to fight you according to your this technique, that technique? Is there anybody? And can you please tell me what is your uniqueness? What do you good at? What do you train? So, short strike Wing Chun has to be good in here. Disable and shoot him. Short strike Wing Chun has to be good and here and throw right away. You touch, like uh, in the uh, Shaolin short strike book said, you touch, I fly you. I get close, I fly you. Fly meaning just trip him or, or just throw him while you're striking him. Can we do that today? No. It's always pan pong folk, practice chi cake. Well, you make all the money for your school, but do you actually consider on your student? You can keep in making all that uh, the interview, Tai Chi is uh, Wing Chun or whatever. But do you know what you are talking about? When you are facing 
say other martial arts. So this is what I like to share with you. Remember, Wing Chun is like a moon circling the earth. Wing Chun has to be proficient in how to get in to the earth. Like the moon, know the angle and get in. And once you get in, you always have a combination, at least three combinations to execute and be able to change if the opponent change. That is the basic of Wing Chun. And you based on that, you ask, what is your Chi Sao do in those kind of real situations? What, what is your Chi Gek do in those real situations? What is your techniques do in the real situations? What is your structure do in the real situations? Or you never reach into the momentum situations. It's always kindergarten stuff. Or you practice Chi Sao and Chi Kek long enough, or you practice Julian Tao long enough, some days you will know. Come on. They just share, show the world that you don't see the big picture. So this is what I like to share with you. I give a straight talk. Like uh, two days ago, my friend said, well, Hendrik, you create a lot of hate, hater who hates you. It's okay, people hate me. But how many people out there, you put them in the false security, in the dangerous zone, when they have to face the reality? How are they going to face it? Do, it, do, you, do they know that they are not trained for it? Do they know that they is not be able to handle it? There is the responsibility of uh, releasing informations.